Good afternoon guys. Welcome back to the Night Rider Garage. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at the Karcher OC3 Mobile Portable Cleaner. <laughs> right, so what do we have here then? Well, for a start off, we have a cup of coffee. We have the Karcher Portable Outdoor Cleaner. Um, I just saw this. I went and purchased some stuff from Go Outdoor, which I'm going to show you at a later date. But anyway, and I just saw this. I thought, this looks pretty cool. What is it? And it's a rechargeable portable cleaner. And it's a low pressure cleaner. Now, obviously, when you're cleaning bikes and stuff, they always recommend never use the jet wash because you can ruin the seals, which is very good, which is very true. Um, but this is a low pressure cleaner, basically. So I thought, let's have a look at it, see if it's worth it, see if it can actually do a decent job. Looking on the internet and the various YouTube videos that I've seen of it, it's not bad. And also you can use it to clean pets with as well, so you can wash your pets. Um, so it's full portable. It has a 4 litre tank. Now apparently it has a 15 minute battery time. So whether that's like 15 minutes continuous use, I don't know yet. Because as you can see, I have not even opened it. So the first thing we're going to do is open the box and see what's inside. So. He says. Completely ruining that. Uh, that was easy, wasn't it? That was easy. And that was easy. And that was easy. There we go. So here we have. There we go. So what do we get inside? Well, we get obviously a charging lead. We'll stick that over there because we're going to need to charge it up. So we get some polystyrene. And a very duty compact little machine. Now you can buy accessories for these as well. Um, I mean, you can get a pet accessories with a specific pet brush. So in here somewhere should be also an attachment for us to use it now the question is how do we get into the actual thing okay lift up there we go pull down okay there we go okay so there's the attachment inside there and there is that's the water container so obviously that holds the water and there's the little attachment which sticks out so that obviously comes out I'm guessing it comes out of this side here so what we need to do now is find out where and how you charge it up there's obviously got to be a charging point somewhere oh it's charged well it has some charging there we go right let's see how long it takes it says to takes to charge here we are so there's the uh, accessories that i told you about now uh amazon this is 131 quid i got it from go go outdoor for 109 because i've got the discount card which isn't too bad um you can also get a brush like a bog brush to attach to it which is pretty good so how long should it be charged up before we use now, it says, do not charge the battery pack for longer than 24 hours. Okay. Does it say how much it needs charging up beforehand? Mm -hmm -hmm. Three hours. Okay, so uh, we'll come back to this in about three hours' time. And hopefully, it will be fully charged. And we'll see just how good it actually is. Okay, so it's been three hours, it's charged up, our light is solid, because that's what it says, when the light is solid, it is fully charged, and it's taken three hours, because I actually set my timer for it, and I've gone and filled up this to four litres, there's a little mark there, one says four, one says two, so that's charged up. Now, when I tipped it over, a yellow bit fell out of here, and I thought it went back in there, but it actually transpires, it's the jet, for here. It says pulling it out, so it goes in there. Oh, hang on, you didn't see that, did you? Jet. There we go. Push twist, and you can put a brush in there. I've discovered about a quick look. The you get there's a dog pack, there's a adventure pack or box, and bike box, and each one is forty pound, and you get varying different bits in there with each one. 
so each one's slightly different. So, now, according, all we have to do now is unplug the little beastie, plug that little back in there, move the power cable well out of the way so we don't electrocute ourselves, and this, obviously look, so the pipe runs through this little groove there, this fits on top, so just fit on top, push the handle down, pull, he says, push the handle down, ah, I've got, hang on, I've got the handle the wrong side, oh, there we go, look at that, put the handle that side first, there we go, push that down, handle down, lift up, hmm, if anything, I've got to say, ah, right, okay, so, oh, I don't know if you saw that. So basically this handle, so you, right, so we'll do this again, we'll do this again. Okay, so the box goes on top, or the reservoir goes on top. Make sure that handle's still up. Lock that handle and push down. It's now locked in place. And I suppose also, I bet if I pick that, you can carry it, can't you? So there we go. Now the question is, how good is it? Now, as you can see, I've kind of got some crap on here. What I've done was I've put some of the degreaser on here and stuff and kind of left it. Now, this is just a nylon brush. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. In fact, I'm going to be at the top of here. Press the button. It's now switched on. That's it. It's done. Right. So, as you can see, this is a bit minging down here. Look. So, the question is... Will it be any good to help me clean this down? So let's have a look and see what it does. Oh, that's actually not bad. Now this is just a nylon brush I'm using. I'm not sure if you can see this clearly. Just a nylon brush. So this has just been soaking in some degreaser. Now, I'm not expecting it to do a great job on things that are greasy like this, but that's not bad pressure, that isn't. That's not bad pressure, I've got to admit. That's pretty cool. I'm actually saying that. Hang on, let's have a look at this. Right, so that's the dirty bit in there. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh. I just got sprayed back. Oh. Spray me. I'm not sure if you can see, but. I didn't think it would be very good on this. I stand corrected. I stand very corrected. <clears throat> if you get too far too close, you just kind of spray back in your face. I would be interested in getting the brush. Now, I've got to say, I'm not sure if you can see this, it's quite dark around here at the moment, because it looks like it's in the rain. But, That has done a pretty decent job of cleaning oh. oh look at that that I've got to say that's actually I'm seriously impressed with this. There is quite a bit of force there. Right, well. There is some quite powerful force behind this. I can tell you that now. Can you use it without that on? 
Oh, right, okay, so he just squeezes that out like that. But that jet's pretty cool. And that jet works pretty well. Oh, scrape my back. Oh, and he says, don't really drive for any more than two minutes. So. Right. For £100, this machine, for what is cleaned off here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but what is cleaned off here, in particular, around here, is unbelievable. <clears throat> now, do you consider coming home after a ride in winter, a very dirty ride in winter. Once the bikes cool down, this, this will be excellent. Just to go out and give it a hose down and rinse all the salt off, especially if you live in the UK, where our roads can be pretty salty and pretty nasty. That, it's got some power behind it. Well, I've got to say, guys, I'm giving this 10 out of 10. I'm impressed with that. I am impressed with that. I never expected... Oh, the fire alarm's gone off. I never expected that to do that in the million years. Never expected that to do that in a million years. Never ever expected that in a million years. Well, there we go, guys. I know what I did forget to say. Usual thing if you like my videos, give them a good old thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your notifications, don't forget to turn on or hit your subscribe button, and um, leave any comments in the comment section. I will link to this. As I say, Amazon, it was a it's 131 pound at Amazon. If you get it by through Amazon, um, through <sighs> Go Outdoors, if you've got the discount card, it is uh, 109 quid. 109 quid. Oh, <clears throat> and also, I've got these lovely bushes, brushes, by the way, from Halfords. Pack of six for £2.50. Not bad. Well, that's done a pretty good job there, that has, as well. So, now I've got that, I think it's going to help me no end to give this bike, this engine, a good clean up, especially around here. Um, and I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless, I'm lost for words actually. The power behind that was unbelievable. I've got to admit, there's a little left in there, just give that a bit of a squeeze down. That's coming up quite nicely, actually. That's coming up quite nicely. It's now going to start to rain out here as well. All right. So, in fact, that's cleaned that up quite well. I can now see the engine number, which I couldn't before. And now I can see the engine number. So, guys, I've got to say, that clean that, I can't believe how much that cleaned that off there. I really couldn't believe it. Right, guys. I am suitably impressed. One last chose. Oh, yes. Definitely recommend getting this. I definitely recommend getting this. Because it's not as powerful as a jet washer, but it's powerful enough. And I can't see it doing any damage to your seals. So I would strongly recommend. So this is the Culture OC3 portable rechargeable uh, cleaner and that's what it says check the box mobile outdoor cleaner culture OC3 mobile outdoor cleaner very much strongly recommend especially when you consider what this is like now on here compared to what it was I'm, I'm sold I'm sold right I'm going to say goodbye. 
as it's about to start raining it's getting dark and uh, I've got a whole engine to clean at some point and I've got to say it got out that muck quite well but what I would recommend is wearing some protection because it does spray back quite a lot so be warned you will get dirty as well thank you very much for watching I will catch you in the next video Arrivederci from me Arrivederci from the Karcher Arrivederci from Scarlet and catch me in the next video Bye.